Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we will learn number functions. These are the number functions that we have that we are going to learn today. Add, subtract, mul multiply, divide, decimal pad, log, power, square root, round, round up, round down. So, you know, like daily basis, we use these functions in our project but you might not know like these are the blue prism in bit functions which is called number functions let me show one by one first we'll see add function add function is used to add two numbers you can see from here add so we can add operand a and operand b so here i have number one and number two so in the number one i have value 24 and number two i have three so let me keep it here and then click on paste now you can see here number one and number two and here we have plus that is the add function this is the same as like two plus two right paste now click ok now here right click set next stage and you can see here we are getting 27 because 24 plus 3 equals to 27 now here we have a subtract function subtract function that we are going to subtract the value from uh, like number one minus number two so here we have subtract let me click here we'll take again number one and then in the operand b we'll put number two paste that now click ok and then click on step you can see here 24 minus 3 equals 21 we have multiply so we'll take here 24 so click on number function and we have multiply here again number one multiply number two paste here so we have this symbol we are using to multiply the values I'll click ok click a step into you can see here 24 multiply 3 equals to 72 we have divide now double click on that click on this click on divide operand a in this one we are going to take value from number one here number two click on paste so this is the symbol that we are using as a divide function now click ok step into you can see here eight is the output of this divide 24 divided by three equals to eight now here we have decimal pad decimal pad you can find it from here get text representing a number with decimal places padded out with zeros. so let's say we, here we have a value 24 so i'm going to put here number one as a 24 and then i want two zero after that number so i'm going to put here two places so it will add two zero zero as a decimal value number of so places means the number of decimal places to pad out to now click on paste and click ok step into you can see here we are getting 2 0 after that so it will make this number as a decimal if i am putting here 3 so it will add 3 0 in the decimal right click set next stage and done right you, you are getting here now here we have a log function it accepts two value number and base so these are the mathematics things it determines the powers to which the logarithms base must be raised to achieve the input values for example if you are putting log and then first value number as a thousand and second value that base is the 10 so we'll be getting 3 how we are getting 3 because if we multiply this 10 three times then we'll be getting thousand so it means it will it will give you the power of 3 uh, like 10 power 3 10 power 3 equals to 1000 I'm going to put here 27 and here I'm putting 3 so what value will be getting here you know let me click ok and next you can see here we are getting 3 because 3 multiply 3 multiply 3 so if you will multiply 3 3 times so we'll be getting this value right now here we have power function power function the same that i show you here in the round in the log this is the 10 power 3 
so we are getting thousand so same way here in the power if i am putting 3 operand 3 and power of 3 so what value will be getting will be getting like 3 multiply 3 multiply 3 it means we'll be getting 27 let me click this and you can see this is the power symbol now click ok and step into so you can see see here we are getting 27 now we have a square root so square root it will give you the square root value here so let's say i'm putting here 4 so a square root of this value this number is 2 if i am putting 9s it will give you 3 right let me paste here 4 now click ok and next so we are getting 2 right uh, here we have a three functions that we use for the round up the values round round up and round down but the name is like this r n d u p r n d d n round down round up these functions we also use in excel if you see here i have taken here this number and here we have places so based on the number and places we get the output here we have round round up round down so in the excel we get like this round round up and round down so i'm going to take this example as per the standard rounding function you you might know that like only numbers which is less than 5 are rounded down and and which is greater than 5 which is rounded up if you see here let's say we have this number 3.1415 so here we have places 3 so the round function will see that up to 3 like 1 2 3 so our after decimals round function will look after decimal that is 1 4 1 right and if the number is 5 which is greater than which is uh, 5 so it will just increase the number that 1 4 1 so the 1 will be now rounded up to 2 now let's say if i am putting a 2 1 4 1 2 so it will not make any changes because only based on the three places we will be getting 3.141 1. but but after this number after one if we are putting six so this round function will just increase this number 3.142 you can see same way the roundup function will see the number here the last number which is greater than five or five so it will increase that but round down function will decrease that number so here we have number six that doesn't matter it will just decrease that and it will keep it will give you a 3.141 here we have 77.90 so if you are taking place zero so it will take the nearest whole number like 77 and then it will round one value that is 71 and round up value was also it will be 78 but round down value will remove the decimal points here and just give you a 77 now let's say if i'm putting here 7 7.40 now what we are getting here a round function will check that that after decimal that this value is 5 or not or like than 5 or not if this is not greater than 5 it will just remove that and give you 77 only because here we have value 0 so it will just look at the nearest whole number but if you are putting here 6 here so it will based on this number this number this whole number will be increased now round up function let's say if i am putting here just 2 so round up function will look the nearest whole number then increase that one right and just give you a zero zero at the end here in the decimal points and round down will remove the decimal points and will give you just uh, the nearest whole number same as that same things we are going to do with here so round function let me take round number so i'm going to put here 3.1412 and round place we are going to take as a zero now here let me take here so let me remove this and take this as a number and then the round function so we'll take here the round function will be round number here and then places so we have round place you can see here it gets the number round off 
round off to a number of decimal places. So example round 1.47 comma 1 so it will result in 1.5 because this 4 because of this 4 and it will look for 7 numbers so it is greater than 5 or like 5 for greater than 5 so that's why it will just increase number this 4 number because uh, we are passing here 1 let me paste that one and now click ok and you will see here we are getting around 0 let me first put the value here copy paste here copy paste here right click set next stage and you can see here we are getting around 3 value because we are we are putting round place 0 and here we have 3.141 so 1 2 so we, our place is 0 so it will just look for this number and it will just give you a number 3 but if I am putting here 1 so it will look after that decimal after that decimal value so 3.1 now the number is 4 so it will just give you a number 3.1 right click set next stage 3.1 now let me make it 3.16 so 3.16 which is uh, let me copy this again 3.16 because we are looking uh, the round place that is 1 so here it will look for the after decimal 1 so 3.1 but this this function will check after that after 1 so this is the second number which is 6 which is greater than or equals to 5 so it will just increase that to 3.2 you will see here right click set next stage and next so we are getting 3.2 now let's go to round up so in the round up let me take the same value 3. Point, so we'll take round up so it is r and d u p so number one that is we are going to take a number this one and place that is this one so the description is gets a number rounded up to a number of decimal places example r and d 1.47 comma 1 will give you 1.5 because we are looking for the place one it means after decimal one that is four so we are just looking for 4 but after that this function will check the other value the next value of this number which is 7 so which is greater than or equal to 5 so it will give you 1.5 paste that one and write ok now step now you can see here we are getting 3.2 now let us say I am going to put here 0 right click set next stage and you can see here we are getting 4 why because it is looking for 3 number just 0 place 0 means before the decimal value so it will look for the whole number and then it will increase the value 1 because we are increasing we are rounding up so we have a value which is like in the decimal 1 6 1 2 so it will remove everything and just increase one value there but let's say if I am putting here 3.00 here and then we are right clicking set next stage and then you can see we are just getting 3 why because we don't have any value in the after decimal so if you after decimal if you don't if you don't have any value so it will not round up to 4 it will just give you as a 3 but if you have any number here let's say 1 2 1 2 right click set next stage and then you can see here it will round up to 4 right so round up will round the number to up if we have some value in the decimal so it will look for the only places it means 0 so we before the decimal point and increase that number but in the round you can see if I am going with this 3.12 so it's giving us 3 because it's looking for 0 and it will just give you the round it will remove the 12 number because this is the less than 5 so it will just remove that and give you 3 number now coming to round down let me so in the round down we have value 3.12 and we are looking for place 0 so it will remove 1 2 and just give you a value as a 3 
point zero zero or like three zero one D. Let me select round down and select round number and then place as a round. Now click OK and you can see here we are getting three only, right? Because it, it just rounded down the number that is one two. So in this video you learned number functions.